What's going on guys, I'm Danny, and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. So we have a very special video for you guys today, um, you already know what it is by the title, but today I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash review for the movie Creed. Now, Creed is released by Warner Brothers and will be in stores on March 1st, 2016. So I am super, super excited to review this for you guys. This is my number one movie for 2015, I'm a huge, huge Rocky fan, and I'm so excited. So before I get into the review portion of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this for you guys real quick, and yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Alright guys, so here we go. This is the Blu-ray, DVD, and Digital HD combo pack of Creed. So as you can see right here in huge bold letters, we have the title Creed right there. Above that, we have the cast of Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone. Underneath the title, it says your legacy is more than a name. And right under that, we have Odonis Creed and Rocky Balboa in the ring. This is uh, this is the poster shot, which I'm really happy that they used because I've always been a fan of it. And of course, right here at the bottom right, we have the Digital HD sticker. Now if we turn this over, on the spine you can see it has the, the regular plain old Blu-ray sign. We have the title Creed right in the middle and right at the bottom we have MGM and Warner Brothers. So let's turn this bad boy to the back and right at the top you see it says Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone deliver knockout performances. Right underneath that we have a shot of the scene where Rocky's teaching Creed that his toughest opponent is himself and to the right of that is the plot of the story. And if we go back over here to the left you see that we have three special features. First up we have Know the Past, Own the Future. Underneath that we have Becoming Adonis and finally we have Deleted Scenes. And alongside that we have some really cool screenshots from the movie. So now let's go ahead and take this off and put the slipcover down right there. Now on the inside you see it's the regular Blu-ray Amore case. We have the same artwork on the front and on the spine. But on the back we have a different picture of Adonis Creed running in the streets when he was going to see Rocky. And once again to the right of that we have the plot and underneath that we get some screenshots but they're also a little different. Now if we open it up right here on the inside you'll see that uh, we have the digital copy slip and on the back of it we have it looks like an in-app video game. But that's a pretty cool image right there. You got Adonis Creed and it looks like Stallone's just hanging out in the background. But we're going to go ahead and put that down right there. And unfortunately, we don't get any inside artwork or discard. We just get a regular uh, plain black disc on the DVD and the same thing on the Blu-ray. So with that being said, there's not really much else to talk about. So let's put this back together. Let's close it on up. Let's get the slip cover right back on it. But all right, guys, that is it. I know it was fast. I know it was simple, but there's really not much to it. Regardless, I love the artwork and I'm so, so excited for this movie. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing for the Blu-ray DVD and digital HD copy of Creed. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that brief unboxing. Now, uh, before I move on, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, it wasn't just going to be me unboxing this today. I actually got a request from Rocky Balboa himself, but the problem was is that he couldn't keep his mind focused. He started talking into one thing, and then that led into another, so I had to cut him. I had to do it myself, but uh, I just want to show you guys a quick clip of that, so here we go now. Yeah, you know, you get uh, Donna's Creed, it's Apollo Creed's son right there. You got me Right there, touching his arm, let him know everything's gonna be alright, you know? Then you gonna go, it says Creed right there. Then you turn this over to, I think they call this the spinal. And uh, on the back right there, picture of me telling Adonis, Yo, you're gonna be your worst enemy, you know? You're gonna fight yourself in the ring. And you're gonna be fighting someone else. So you got two people against one, you know? It's not really a fair fight, but no one ever said no it was fair, you know? It all sticks. Back when I was younger, you had, you had Mick over here telling me, Yo, Rock. You know, you're going to be a fighter, I want to trade you. And he was being nasty. I mean nasty. He was being talking to me nasty. And now I got a Blu-ray out. Where's he? Where's Mick, right? He left me. Adrian left me. Paulie left me. We got video games now and none of them in there. You got right here, you got Creed, Creed 2 Black Discs. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a race thing. Maybe it's now. Who knows? Put that bad boy back in there. Put that slipcover on. Slipcover. We got the spinal. But yeah, yeah, you know, that's all you really need. You just take it. You put this disc in the VCR and that's it. You just watch it. Yeah, you know? So, all right, guys. I'm going to go watch this alone because my wife is dead. Her brother's dead. Uh, you know, my best friend's dead. My train is dead, and yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll be dead one day. We're all gonna be dead. But all right, guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go watch Creed now. I'll talk to you later. Hopefully I win that Oscar, you know what I'm saying? Just watch the movie, all right? I appreciate it. So you guys see what I'm saying? His mind was all over the place. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get on to the review portion of this. So now, if you guys don't know anything about this movie, this right here is the spinoff of the Rocky series. The Rocky series had six separate movies, so this is technically the seventh installment of the franchise. Now, this movie is not based around the character Rocky anymore. It's based around the character Adonis Creed, who is the son of Rocky's old friend and rival, 
Apollo Creed. Now, unfortunately, Adonis was born after his father passed away, so Apollo Creed had no knowledge of him before he died. So this movie starts off where Adonis Creed, he's doing some stray fights in some rundown boxing rings and, and pretty much just like how Rocky Balboa started off. And he doesn't want to use his father's name as like a crutch. He wants to make his own name. He wants people to remember Creed for him now. So Adonis Creed finds Rocky and eventually persuades him to train him. So eventually the training starts to work and Adonis starts getting some opponents, uh, some big names, and he's getting himself a shot at the title fight. The only issue is that now Rocky starts to get sick, which broke my heart while watching the movie because it just, he really shows his age now. So Rocky really doesn't want to fight the sickness anymore because at this point he's so lonely, you know, he lost his wife Adrian, he lost his brother-in-law Paulie, he lost his best friend Apollo, and he lost his trainer Mickey. So he really doesn't have anything else to live for. So what happens is Adonis says that he's not going to fight this main guy and go after this title fight unless Rocky fights his sickness. So of course being Rocky Balboa, he decides to fight and Adonis Creed starts to train again so that he can go to that title fight. So I'm going to stop right there because I don't really want to give any spoilers out. Everything I've set up to this point has been in the trailers, so there's no surprises there. But guys, I just have to say, this movie was incredible. Growing up, I was a massive, massive Rocky fan. I'm still a massive, massive Rocky fan. And when I heard about there being a spinoff, I started to worry a little bit. But once I heard that Sylvester Stallone was still going to be in this, and Michael B. Jordan was going to be joining the cast as the lead, I had 100% confidence in this. And honestly, the director, Ryan Coogler, did an amazing job. One thing that worried me most was, will this movie have the same feel as the rest of the Rocky franchise did? Or will it be way too modern that it doesn't do the series justice and it just falls short and then there was just a, a random movie that didn't go well? But I'm so, so excited to say that this movie was everything I'd hoped for and then some. I did a full marathon of Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, Rocky Balboa, and then I went to go see this movie in the theaters with my brother. It was all within a day and a half. It was exhausting, but completely, completely worth it. There's so much that went into this to make this a beautiful story. The characters, again, you get Rocky Balboa who hasn't changed at all. He's like part of the family. I've always felt that way and I'm not even exaggerating. Then you had Michael B. Jordan as Adonis Creed who did such a great job. He's such a great actor. But speaking of acting, I have to go back to Sylvester Stallone. This guy did such an amazing job. When you see that he's nominated for an Oscar, Trust me, it's 100% deserved. If you did not see the movie yet, you may not understand, but when you see it, you will. But what I love about the whole entire Rocky franchise and now Creed joining it is that the whole series has one thing that keeps it together. It's the glue of it all, and that is heart. And the actors portrayed that so well within the characters. It was just truly, truly beautiful. Now, another thing that makes this movie great is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is so intense, and it even mixes some of the original Rocky music with modern-day uh, rap or, or R&B. It was just so, so good. I am so absolutely excited to finally own this on Blu-ray. It looks incredible, and it sounds incredible, just like it did in the theaters. And to make it even better, we get some pretty cool special features here as well. We get Know the Past, Only the future and it's where the cast and the crew talk about the challenges of building on the Rocky series. Next we have Becoming Adonis and it says see how star Michael B. Jordan prepared for the hardcore training sequences and fights and I'm not too sure if you guys know about this but Michael B. Jordan took an actual knockout punch so if you've seen uh, the interviews on that it's absolutely hilarious look it up if you haven't and finally we get some deleted scenes in there as well but all right guys that is it that's my review for the blu-ray DVD digital HD copy of Creed like I said before this movie is released by Warner Brothers and you can look forward to it hitting stores on March 1st, 2016. But alright guys, that is it. That is the end of this video. As always, I have a couple questions for you. First off, I gotta know, are you guys a fan of the Rocky franchise? If you are, what's your favorite movie? Mine will always be the first one. Did you see Creed in theaters? And if you did, what did you think of it? Do you think it was a good addition or a bad addition to the Rocky franchise? Will you be picking this up on March 1st when it comes out? And which edition will you be picking up? Because Target's also getting an exclusive steelbook for it, which I will definitely be picking up. But all right, guys, that is it for my questions. As always, if you guys could please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment box down below. Please share this video around to your family and friends. Everybody, uh, share it to Sylvester Stallone. Please share, please share it to Sylvester Stallone. And if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel because I got so many more videos coming out. There's just so much coming out, guys. There's so much. If you guys would like to follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Facebook and my Facebook with me, hey, and my Facebook group Movie Craze. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And slash or you guys can check me out on my other YouTube channels, O Legend Studios for Pranks and Sketches and Legendverse for Real Life Superhero Battles. But alright guys, that is officially it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. As always, I'm Danny and this is the Blurry Dan Channel. I'll see you guys next time. I want you guys to remember, it ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. <laughs>